hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel please do well to subscribe also turn on the notification bell in order to get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much god bless you most especially the pastor by who have decided to stop over to check one or two things may god bless you as you subscribe to this youtube channel my correct people in this video we are going to discuss about our popular nollywood actor john okafor popularly known as mr ebu who sometimes makes us smile sometimes make us get angry at him this young man has passed through a lot a lot of things have happened to him a lot of hatred sometimes some weeks ago or some months ago he has been in the hospital because of the poison that was given to him accusation finger was pointed at a colleague someone from nollywood industry what is really happening why the hatred what has he done what sin has he committed that he cannot be forgiven what sin a lot of things has happened to this man that sometimes most of us begin to pity him Ah, uh -uh, is it the only person is he the only one in Hollywood industry? A lot of questions can be asked about this man's life as it has happened to him. A lot can be asked. Guys, when this man was still in the hospital battling with his health, thank God at the end God healed him. He is strong, healed and hearty now. While he was in the hospital, someone hacked into his account. Imagine that. Hack into his Instagram account. Hack into his Facebook account. Even block him from his email that he used to receive a lot from the bank mr ibu who recently cleared the air about his relationship with atiku and also tinibu he also made analysis about his relationship with pdp and apc due to what some people are saying about him all because of the hatred they have for him guys before we go further to complete our story let us listen to what he said about his relationship with atiku and also tinibu approached me of Tribu's involvement to contest for president in Nigeria. I'm a completely independent person in the area I perform. I'm a comedian, I'm a musician, and I am a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an actor. Anything that has to do with anybody, that anybody want me to talk about, the person will come and address me on that, and I have no directions. I, I don't know why this is going around like this. From time, I've never, I've never run in the sideways. It has been me and Atiku all this way. I've been taking me to places. And if Atiku is contesting for president, certainly, because he has done a lot of things for me, you know, there was a time he changed the house for me and all that, and I said, let me stay here for now. He's like a father to me. He is contesting for president on that PDP. Certainly, I have been working for him, even in his own state. The word said is the word said, and I don't understand. I'm not trying to pull him down. He's a good candidate, that's why, but I, I'm not his candidate. You know, um, Atiku is my candidate, and a whole lot of people who has helped me, even when I'm sick. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Enugu State, took me out out of the country to go and treat me. Why will I now disappoint them? These are my people. Anybody I visited, probably on invitation, is simply because I'm an actor and. They want me to assist them in one way or the other in whatever they are doing. That does not mean I ab abandoned uh, my father's them. I did not. I did not. Everybody is contesting and then may God help them. Anybody who wins, let the person win. It will be like that. My correct people, that is Mr. Ibu for you. Let us continue with our story. How the person that hacked into Mr. Ibu's account has been arrested. Someone blocked him, did all that. To someone that has been hospitalized, to someone that has been in the hospital, they still block all those things from him. Why? But unfortunately to the person, unfortunately to that criminal, unfortunately to Mr. Ibu, the person has been caught. They have caught, they have discovered the person that did that. And now the person is begging. Okay, let us take the story this way. The person who hacked 
Mr. Ibu's Instagram account has been caught and it turns out that he is the actor's colleague. Mr. Ibu's daughter in her statement revealed that the culprit has been begging for his identity not to be revealed because of his career. She wrote, he also hacked his Facebook and the email he uses in receiving notification from bank. After several months of trying to get his Instagram account back, the man that hacked Nollywood veteran Mr. Ibu's page has been caught. The actor's daughter, Jermaine, shared the news on his page and revealed that the culprit has been arrested and in police custody. Jermaine also disclosed that the hacker is begging for mercy so that his identity will be cancelled from the public. My correct people, this is how the news was published. This is to let everyone know that we have catfished the person that hacked Mr. Ibu's verified Instagram account. He was arrested yesterday and the case is in the police station. He confessed to the crime and investigation is still ongoing. It's so saddening to know that it was one of the colleagues in the Nollywood industry. His motives are still yet to be known. Revealing his identity depends on how far the extent of the damages that he was using the account to do was. Please help us let the general public know that they can stop reporting the account now as it has been restored to us. Thanks. Mr. Ibu's daughter, however, asked the public a question that follows. Should we reveal his identity or temper justice with as he has been begging for forgiveness since yesterday? Note, he also hacked his Facebook and the email he uses in receiving notification from bank. He is only begging we cover his identity because he said it will jeopardize his career in the Nollywood industry. Please, what do you all suggest we do in this regard? Keep sharing until it gets to the appropriate news agencies. Thanks, regards, Shoma Jamin. My correct people, we also have our social media in-laws and judges who have said some things about this particular story. Let us listen to them. As this one said, You see, such is life. No one to be trusted anymore. Human being with wicked heart everywhere. No even fear of God again. This writer also said, Hope he or she is not the one responsible for Mr. Ibu's poisoning. While the other writer here said, if this is true, then no need to withheld his identity. Someone who wants to hurt you without looking back, so no need to protect his career either. This writer also said, now wow, his colleague, hmm, that should still investigate. Maybe he was the one that poisoned him. My opinion though, this writer said, this is very wicked. What has my son, Mr. Ibu, ever done to you in this industry? Why always try to put him down? My granddaughter, you need to expose that beast immediately. Let us help him promote his career nonsense. It is well with Mr. Ibu. No one, nobody created you except God. So no one can take your life except God. So guys, at this point, I want to say thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next update. Thanks. Bye.